Hey, what's going on, man? This is Kane Frost. And today's discussion is going to be with patience, you win. All right, so what am I talking about here? All right, so let's say that you're dealing with a woman and it's in the beginning stages and, you know, uh, maybe you just got her number, right? Um, you got to understand that you're not the first one that's hitting her up. You know, there's been multiple guys that have been hitting her up and trying to get her time and attention and, and go out on dates and all this stuff with her. The thing about um, with patience is that a lot of women just want to kind of weed out a lot of guys that are going to be too thirsty and too needy. You got to look at it as if, you know, you're this let's say you're this really really popular celebrity and you know um there's multiple hundreds of women that want to uh they want to go out with you right you're not just going to go out with all of them right you're going to want to vet them out you know to see which ones you want to spend time with you know which ones uh you know you're going to you know just it's easy to do that um by just you know ignoring texts really and it's the first thing you do so, you know, let's say, you know, I'm not going to do 100, but let's say five women. Um, you, get, you give your number, you're really serious about all five women. You, know, you, you would consider going out and giving your time. And then, you know, out of those five, you know, uh, three of them, um, you know, they still constantly send you messages. You know, like, hey, what are you doing? Or like, good morning, have, have a good day. You're like, all right, cool. You know, and then, you know, a couple hours later, I hope you're having a good work day today. You know, I don't want to be bothering you or something like that. And then lunchtime, you know, they, they just spout off what they're doing for lunch. And I'm going to go go with my friend and we're going to go eat over here. Just wanted to see how you're doing, you know, if you're having a good day. Just constantly over and over and over. And you're kind of looking at, depending on what type of person you are, you're either going to like it or not. You're going to be like, man, this is too much. You know what I'm saying? Um, or maybe you do like it. Maybe like, wow, this is pretty cool. And maybe she impresses you over the other uh, five girls. You know, um, that's the same thing what women are gonna do at the very beginning. They're gonna test you, and you know, if you hit them up, you know, maybe they won't respond to you right away. But that's a test to see what you're gonna do after that, and because you know, they they don't want to get emotionally attached to you, and then. Now they're on some level they got to deal with you because, you know, they're, they, they really like you and they're most attached now. You know, they got to deal with this narcissistic guy who's just constantly checking up on her or whatever it is. You know, that's why these, a lot of these relationships, they, they don't work out. They're in these abusive relationships or whatever. is because, you know, the girls, they, they went all in with some guy and the guy ended up being somebody that he wasn't. You know, so let's say a girl was like that in her last two relationships and now she's very cautious of who she goes out with. She wants to test to see which guys are going to keep their cool. You know, she might even flake on a date, you know, just to see what you, how you would respond. Maybe the last boyfriend would, you know, call her a piece of shit and, you know, want to threaten her and all this other stuff. And she doesn't like that. Maybe when she flakes, you know, and, and you know, uh, you know, but it won't be like just no, no show. Maybe she'll call you and be like, you know, a text you or something like that the day before. Or something, say, hey, look, I can't make it. I'm sorry. You know, whatever want to reschedule it you know to see you and then you know or maybe even it's the day of you know hey i can't make it depending on what type of day it is you know if it's a sporting event and the tickets cost a lot of money that's a different thing but if this is a regular day to go out and she canceled that day hey, i can't make it something came up if you play it cool and just be like hey no problem you know what but you don't ask a date right then and right there just go you know hey no problem um you let me know get back to me when your schedule uh, frees up and then we'll see what we can reschedule you know what I'm saying? Play it cool. And that's what they're looking for. You know, the other guy who's not going to play it cool is going to be like, fuck you, you dumb bitch, all this other stuff. And that's it. He's going to get blocked and she's going to move on to the next guy. So this is where patience is always coming in handy on, on how you need to just keep your cool on things. Um, when she, at the very, I said, this is all at the very beginning of the stages. You know, she'll do a lot of these tests just to see uh, your reaction on things, you know, and... Uh, like I said, she might not, if you text her, she might wait a little bit. It's going to get better, you know, the, the more you play it cool. Because the more you play it cool in her eyes is like you're dealing with other women too. She's not a priority. 
So you're dealing with other women. She knows, and she, after a while, she, and once that, you know, she starts seeing you as more of a, a top guy, that you seeing other women is gonna kind of not bother her, but kind of make her jealous and want to know what's going on. And maybe you know you're a catch, and, and she's starting to notice that, and, and you're seeing who's the best option for you. And now she's gonna want to start hanging out with you more. But if you blew it all in the beginning. There is never going to be no second, third, fourth date and stuff like that. So you got to play it cool um, at the very beginning of stages. And that's how you win. You know, if you, if you blow your cool, there's no coming back, especially um, if you just starting off. If you already have been going out with her for a while, there's always ways you can you know, get that back because you have some sort of emotional bond together. But at the very beginning, if you lose your cool and you, know, she, you text her and she waits a day to, to text you back, She's not that she didn't forget. She's really testing you just to see what you would do. Because a lot of guys, you know, after, you know, eight hours, something like that, you know, either A, they start panicking, they start acting like, oh, maybe she's hurt or something like that. Maybe she's in trouble. Maybe she didn't get it, you know. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Somebody called me the other day and, and my phone didn't ring and they said they called. You know, maybe I sent my text and, and they didn't get it. And you double text, you know what I'm saying? Hey, did you get my message? You know what I'm saying? Then you start going down that. You start panicking. You start getting insecure about yourself. You start becoming needy. You start, you know, she start getting the sense that, you know, you don't have anything else going on in life. You don't have a purpose that you're working on in life. You don't have any other girls that you're talking to. You know, now you're really worried about what she's doing. Like I said, this is all at the beginning. And if she sees at the very beginning, then why is she going to want to continue you know, um, talking to you, you know, so it's all a test. If, if you sent a message, just know that she got it, you know, and, and never at the very beginning, never leave something on a statement when you do send a text. Always leave it in a question, so that way she has to respond. You know, if she says something like, you know, um, you know hey, do you, you like to drink coffee? You know, I'm just making something up. But uh, if you say, yeah, man, you know, I, 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 I like to go to Starbucks. And that's it. You don't, you don't follow up with a question. That's just a statement. There's nothing. There's just dead air. And then now you're almost going to have to double text because, you know, you didn't get no feedback. You know what I'm saying? You always got to end it with a question. You know, um, that's how you keep the conversation bouncing forth to see where her interest is at with you. And that's how you wait. And you got to wait them out. You got to wait for the, you got to patient, be patient about it. So she does say that, you know, hey, you know, or whatever, you know, if you've ever been to this park, you just can't say, yeah, I've been there, you know, but, you know, saying, yeah, I, you know, I've been to that park, you know, um, you know, there, they, during Christmas, you know, they, they have some really pretty cool lights. You've been there during Christmas, you know, there's always a follow up question of what you're asking, you know, um, and to see if she's going to reply back or not. You know, um, and also on that, on the texting thing, try to make your, your texts more, try to make them funny, try to make them witty, and try to make them flirtatious. The quicker you can do that, the quicker um, you can get this girl thinking about you in a sexual way. If you're just keeping on some friend stuff, like I just said, that's some really, really, really friend stuff. You know, you can do that the first one or two texts. You know what I'm saying? But after that, it needs to get... I'm flirty because I sometimes I've done that where I just I just do flirty right off the bat and it never works out because well sometimes it does sometimes it does but like the first question I come off it, it sounds like I'm way too thirsty like I'm not even interested in what they got to say you know like I'm just coming at them real hard and they don't even reply back even if it is a question if I come out with some flirty stuff they don't know my vibe it's online they don't know nothing about me so what I'm saying is one or two just to kind of break the ice you know just like hey you're a cool guy you know, you like to talk about normal things too. And then after that, then you can start bringing up, you know, getting together, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, you know, if you want to talk to them on the phone a little bit better or video chat, those are always good things because a lot of times women um, with, the, with the filters, the phone filters and all that stuff, they, they kind of do look not what they look like on the, on the pictures in person. So it's always good uh, to do a, um, a video chat, you know, before you, you go out just to see their, their body and their face you know, on a live video. You know, if they're, stand, if they're just real close to their face, like, hey, back it up, man, let me see you stand up. And if they don't want to do that, then you already know that they have insecurities about the body and it's probably really not going to work out. And then when they show up, it's going to be something that you were not expecting. And 
me my friends and a lot of other people have been down that road so many times and it's not a good it's not a good uh, experience and the sad thing about it is, is the other person knows that what they're doing and they're kind of hoping that when they do show up that you're just going to be this you know desperate guy that's not going to care and they're all into their mind and not their body and all this other stuff and it never works out usually it doesn't work out um so anyways patience you know that's what i'm saying patience with all this stuff and ex except the very beginning stages it's only the first two or three weeks that you you see them and they get a really good feel for your vibe they understand you where your mission is in life and you know how you're focused and what you know they get a really good sense about you and after that they're going to start contacting you and the patience that's when it pays off you don't have to be patient for the rest of your life you don't have to be patient for two months you know what i'm saying you, after that you're going to have to sit but you can sit back after about the 34th date you know and they'll you know by that time you probably slept with them and they're going to be contacting and stuff like that um, and it's very good when you do get to that stage and you always, like I said, instead of uh, ending the question on a, on a text, you end the question on in person. So if you're leaving, they're getting it whatever in the morning and then they're kissing goodbye, always just say, you know, hey, call me later, you know, or text me later or, you know, do something with the fact that they got to reach out to you. And then that's how that's going to keep going. And then the patience is over. You don't have to wait no more. They're going to be contacting you all the time. But if you cannot wait and you are impatient, you will lose. Bottom line, you will lose. You've got them out of control. You, yourself, your emotions, your thoughts, everything. You have to. Uh, and it'll get better. You know what I'm saying? It'll get better as, as time goes on. You know, um, you'll get better at this game. You'll get better at all this other stuff that you're dealing with. And the better you get... The easier it becomes to you, and then the more you'll understand that um, it's all just as part of the process of getting to know someone, having fun with them, hooking up. All right, man, I'm getting all kinds of messages on my phone. My computer's telling me I'm getting running out of memory and all this other stuff. I'm going to end this, uh, this video clip. So anyways, man, this is Kane Frost. And like I said, the video is, um, you know, just patience pays off. Uh, if you like this video, if it found any, any kind of value to you, just go ahead and please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel my book man be the fire in her eyes is a very good dating a gentleman's dating guide to a whole introduction about how to get back in the field and talk to women all right man till the next time man rock on and as always peace